In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips to improve your bird photography when you're out in the field. First tip is to always know where you are. So make sure you always know where your camera's pointing. Now, this isn't as much of a problem with smaller lenses, it's not too much of an issue. But with bigger lenses like 500, 600 millimeters or a bigger focal length, then it definitely becomes more of a problem. So you wanna make sure all the time, when you're waiting, when you've got the camera there set up, you wanna know where the camera is pointing exactly. So when it comes to bird photography, obviously things can happen pretty quickly and you need to react. So if I'm here set up by the edge of this pond, maybe I'm expecting something to arrive somewhere from the middle towards the back of the pond, towards the reeds, then I need to be able to react quickly. When I'm just waiting with the camera on the tripod like this, I wanna have at least some idea of where I'm pointing. So I'm actually gonna pick a point right on the opposite side of this pond um, there's actually a gap so there's like a just a, a clear gap between the reeds so I'm simply just pointing my camera over there if anything turns up near there at least I've got some kind of reference point now if you don't do that and you don't know where you are what can happen is some bird can fly in uh, you just sort of panic you grab the camera you're trying to pick it up and because you don't already know where the camera is pointing it makes it much more difficult for you uh, to find the bird and pick it up to photograph next one tip number two is to put your settings back now you may have some kind of default camera settings that you often use maybe when you you set up in one place like I am today I've kind of got default settings that I'm happy to work with now sometimes the situation may mean that you have to change those settings it's going to happen a lot of the time so perhaps you have to do a bit of exposure compensation for example uh, maybe I'm going to photograph a white bird such as a swan so I'm going to dial in a bit of negative exposure compensation or perhaps I'm going to change the focus option lots of different focus options on this Canon R6 uh, perhaps I'm going to go from a spot focus to an eye focus for example because I think that's going to work better maybe it's for more of a close-up so what I'd say is whatever those default settings are that you've put into the camera that you're happy with put it back to that after you've made your changes just put it back to your original settings uh, and then if you need to you can make adjustments again if you don't do that then you might end up in a situation where the camera's not focusing as it should or all your pictures are going to be underexposed or overexposed. And tip number three is to have any extras that you need to have them about your person uh, rather than in a camera bag. Uh, so for example, spare batteries, which you should always have, maybe an extender, maybe you've got the choice of putting an extender on your lens if you choose to. Um, so I'll always try and have um, any of those extras I'll try and keep in a pocket, probably an inside pocket a lot of the time. Uh, I think this is better um, if you have it in a camera bag, maybe that's like a few feet away from you, then you've got to go over there reach into your camera bag. Not only does it take more time, but it's also more movement and you wanna try and keep any movement to a minimum when you're photographing birds. And the next one is to consider changing your battery before the battery of the camera has actually run out. Now you might think, why would you need to do that? The reason for this, it's something I try to do now, which I've learned from experience. If you have a battery that's just starting to run low, so when you check on the back of your camera, you should have a little battery symbol to give you an idea of the current battery life. When that battery starts to run low, sometimes it can then very quickly get to the point where there's not much left and eventually it dies completely. Now, if you have some action that suddenly happens, and this could often be the case with bird photography, if you have some action, and maybe that's for a prolonged period, and you've got a battery that's not got much left in it, then you might struggle with that. The battery might go faster, especially if you're shooting at lots of high speed action. And then you need to change your battery during the action, which is the last thing you want to do. So it's not something I'd say you absolutely have to do, um, but I do think it's probably good practice. So if you see that your battery life is getting very low, and particularly if it's anywhere near red, you know, if you think there's a chance of something good might be about to happen, then I would definitely change the batteries. Put a fresh battery in, which is hopefully fully charged. Now, tip number five is a quick way of getting your tripod lower. So it's fairly low here, but if I wanted to get it even lower, closer to water level uh, for some of these water birds, then there's just a really quick way they can do it without having to change all the legs. So make sure that you've got one front leg that's pointing in the same direction as the camera and lens and then all you need to do is unlock that leg at the top and simply extend it out and then that's going to drop the camera's height get you lower to where you want to be
Now this can cause a bit of a problem because things are no longer level uh, because you've adjusted just one of the legs. So if you're on a fluid head for example then it won't be level when you rotate it. So this is just basically a quick way of getting yourself lower down when you really need to react quickly. So do you use any of the tips I've mentioned in this video or perhaps you have some specific things that you do out in the field to improve your bird photography? If you do please let me know in the comments box below and share with other viewers. Now if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy this one up on the screen which is five mistakes I used to make in bird photography. If you like that please put a comment on there give it a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed do consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time.